Hello, YouTube friends, and welcome to a little celebratory yoga practice with me, Kat Methan. So this practice is to celebrate International Yoga Day. If you're doing this when it's not International Yoga Day, it doesn't matter because what an amazing thing to be able to celebrate whatever we want, whenever we want. So when you drop into this practice today, I really invite you to come to this space of celebration. And whether that you decide that celebration for yourself, showing up on your mat today, Day, or celebration for the practice itself and the lineage of yoga, all the teachers that have come before me, that have come before those that were here before me and those that were here before them, the whole history and the lineage of yoga, how grateful we are for that because it's what allows us to be here in this space together today. So we're going to get started seated, so grab everything you need. Just to say before we get started, if you are are not already a Soul Sanctuary member, which is my monthly yoga and meditation membership, then please do, after this practice, come and check it out. There's a seven-day free trial. All the information is below. So get yourself settled, and we will take some time to arrive. So closing down the eyes now, taking that gaze inwards, take a shoulder roll going back, just feeling those shoulder blades travel down the spine, this lift of the chest, grounding into your seat. The hands can be either down in the lap or they can be on your knees or your thighs. And just take a moment, lift the hands up and then place them down wherever they go. So it may be palms down, it may be palms up and just allow wherever they've gone to naturally to be where you drop into. So palms facing down, this gesture of looking inwards and grounding, palms facing upwards, this gesture of surrender, opening to everything in the outer consciousness. So our pranayama today is going to be our alternate nostril breathing, alanoma veloma. So you'll be using your right hand and you can either take the two piece fingers between the eyebrows, so to the third eye, and work side to side here, or you can bring the two piece fingers down into the palm, and then you're gonna take the thumb to the right nostril, and then you'll close the left nostril with the two other fingers. So we'll close off the right to begin with, and we'll be taking our inhale through the left. I'm gonna count you through. It's gonna be inhales for four and exhales for four. So closing the right, and we'll inhale left. One, two, three, four. Exhale right. One, two, three, four. Inhale right. One, two, three, four. Exhale left. One, two, three, four. Inhale left. One, two, three, four four, exhale right, one, two, three, four, inhale right, one, two, three, four, exhale left, one, two, three, four, inhale left, one, two, three, four, exhale right, one, two, three, four, Inhale right, one, two, three, four. Exhale left, one, two, three, four. Inhale left, one, two, three, four. Exhale right, one, two, three, four. Inhale right, one, two, three, four. Exhale left, one, two, three, four, release the hand down back onto the thighs, come back to the natural rhythm of your breath, keeping the eyes closed, just feeling into this present moment, notice how the body feels connected to the earth, notice how the breath feels,
that sense of balance between the two nostrils, between the two sides of the body. And you can keep the eyes closed. Just release the hands down by the sides and now sweep the arms up into the sky. Interlace the hands and you can take Kali Mudra with the hands. So the index fingers together, the thumbs across. Now you're going to work around in circles here. So opening up to the sides, lifting the chest and coming all the way back down, rounding the spine as you come forwards. So making these circles as big as you wish. And then going the opposite direction. Beautiful. Keep it moving round. And one more time going this side. And release. Start to shake the hands out. So just shaking through those hands this sense of release, and maybe you want to add a releasing breath or two here as well. So all the things that aren't going to be serving you throughout this practice, throughout our time together, use this energetic shake just to release those things from the body, and you can shake the arms up into the sky, and you can bring them down. <sighs> Beautiful. Release the block from underneath you. Roll on over to all fours. Take the knees wide. Push it all the way back to a wide leg child's pose. Take a breath here. Now you're going to start to round the spine. Tuck the tension to the chest as you wave your body forwards. Come all the way down onto the belly and snake it down to the ground. So that movement is super fluid. You're then going to come all the way up to a little cobra and then push it back to the child's pose. So you might find that your knees are going to be just a little bit closer in than they would in a normal wide leg child's pose to allow for the forward movement. And I just invite you to flow a bit more fluidly and freely here, coming down to the belly. And then pushing it all the way back up, snaking it round. Two more like this. Down to the belly. Push it up and take it back. Coming all the way back to that all fours position, place the hands down in front of you. Tuck under the toes, fly the bottom up for a downward facing dog. Take an inhale, come up onto the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, push the bottom back, but stay up on the toes here. So you're bringing your belly towards your thighs, knees are bent. Now from here, starting to draw those heels down towards the earth. They do not need to be touching the mat. The knees can stay with a bend in them. Take an inhale again, come up onto the toes. This time, pivot the heels over to the left, bend the knees, push back. So you get this nice big opening through the right side body. I like to call these my twisty twizzles. Take an inhale, coming up to the center, and then exhale, heels over to the right this time, and push it back. Inhale, back through center. And then exhale again, push the tummy towards the thighs, keep the knees bent. Then start to draw the heels down towards that downward facing dog. Take a releasing breath here, inhale. And let it go. Now you're going to either step or jump the feet to Malasana, our yogic squat. So feet come to the outside edges of the mat and we drop the bottom down towards the mat. If you want to, you can place a block underneath you and sit yourself on the block just to give it a little bit more of a sense of ease. There is nothing wrong with having that sense of ease at any time in your practice. Only you know what is going to be serving your body in this moment. So just shifting side to side here, opening into that hip space. 
and then starting to lift the bottom as you do heel toe the feet to about hip width apart a nice big bend through the knees take an inhale lift the chest halfway exhale forward fold inhale lift the chest halfway again exhale forward fold last time here inhale lift the chest halfway exhale fold now deepen that bend through the knees and heel toe the feet a little wider than hip width can you get the bottom a bit lower so we're coming back into a wide leg utkatasana inhale sweep the arms up breathing here take an inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale come all the way up to standing release the hands down by the side bring the feet together just heel toe them in so the feet are now touching we're going to come back down to that utkatasana keeping the hands at heart center so you're going to take an inhale drop it down and then exhale you're going to stand up and lift the right knee inhale drop it down Exhale, stand it up, lift the left knee. Drop it down. Right knee becomes a little march. Bring it down. Left knee. One more time each side. Down. Right knee. Down. Left knee. Beautiful. So, replacing that left foot back down, release the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms high up to the sky. Exhale, cascade it down, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, place the hands, either step or float back, lower down through chaturanga or down to the knees. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog remembering you need to make this practice what you need it to be grounding down through the left foot sweep the right leg up square the hips pushing away through that right heel taking an inhale and then exhale shift the shoulders forward knee to nose take it back to the three leg dog three more like that bring it forward knee to nose push it back three leg dog knee to nose take it back three leg dog last time knee to nose hold this one and then we're going to shift over into vashistasana so if you'd like to modify your vashistasana you're going to take the right foot down in front of the left leg and sweep that right arm up if not you're going to stack both legs from here, you're going to sweep that right arm down and around underneath the body and then inhale, take it all the way up again. Nice and strong, beautiful. Place the right hand down, find your way to plank and then wave it back, downward facing dog. Beautiful, nice. Take a breath and then sweep the left leg up, keep the hips square. Inhale here. And then plank knee to nose. Take it back, three leg dog. Plank knee to nose. Two more, three leg dog. Plank knee to nose. Last time, plank knee to nose. Well done. Now hold it here, pivot onto the right side. To modify, you can place that left foot down over the top and reach the arm up. If not, you're going to stack both legs. Left arm is high up in the sky. Now we're going to thread that left arm underneath the right. Take it all the way back up and then place left hand down. Make your way to plank. Either vinyasa your way through or just wave your way back to a downward facing dog. And then release the breath. On your next inhale, we're going to step or float the feet to Malasana at the top of the mat. Again, using your block if you wish. This time, you're going to take the left fingertips down. The right arm reaches all the way up. Option to take a bind here where you wrap that right arm around if it's there for you. If not, you do not need it. 
Nice big breath into the chest. Hmm. Now from here, if you're sat up on a block, then you might want to unravel yourself from that block. You're going to come to sit on your bottom and take the right leg out. Left leg's going to stay bent in. Now we're going to take the left arm up and over and come into a side stretch here. If you can, you're going to wrap the right arm around and take hold of that left ankle. Again, it's not a necessity that you get every pose, every grab. You need to be comfortable. You need to be observing your body, your breath. So just opening wherever you are into that left side body. And then coming all the way back up to neutral. Now, the fun part, we get ourselves back to Malasana. If you can, you're going to bring that right foot in, reach the arms forward, find that momentum and bring yourself back. If not, you're going to use the hands to help you. Right hand comes down, left arm reaches up. And then if you would like to take the bind, you wrap that left arm up and around. Gazing up to the sky, big breath in. Hmm. Now from here, we shimmy ourselves all the way down to the mat. This time it's the left leg that goes out long, right leg stays bent in. Left arm comes across and if you can, you take hold of the right ankle and the right arm sweeps up and over. Breathe into the side body here as you inhale. We create space through that right side. As we exhale, we allow ourselves to move deeper. And whenever I say deeper, it doesn't mean physically. Of course, there can be physical depth that is gained from the breath, from the stretch. But really, when we look at being deeper, getting deeper into the present moment, getting deeper into the emotional body, and deeper into the breath. I would argue that those things are more important than getting deeper in a pose. Coming all the way back to center. Now, again, we got to make our way gracefully back to that malasana. If you didn't quite make it gracefully, it doesn't matter. Fingertips come down. Take the bottom up. Now, heel toe those feet so that they're in that wide utkatasana again. Bring the bottom down. Sweep the arms up. Holding here. Take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale, come all the way to standing, heel, toe the feet, all the way together. Bring the hands to heart center. We bring it down to the Utkatasana. And then this time as we lift and we lift the right leg, we're going to twist towards that right leg. We drop it down and then we exhale to the left. Inhale. Exhale, right. Inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale. Exhale, right. Last time, inhale. And then exhale, left. Bring it down. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, take a forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, create some space. Exhale, place the hands, step or float back, lower down, chaturanga, or down to the knees. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps between the hands, drop the back knee down, lift the chest, reach the arms up. Switch on the glutes. Then we drive it forwards into the stretch with everything still activated. Hands come to heart center. Now from here, we take a twist, but we're not hooking the elbow. We are just twisting the torso actively. Now, if you wish, from here, you can take that back toe under and start to lift the back knee and come into... 
our revolved side angle. And you can hook the elbow now. Option to open up the arms. Option to take a bind. And you can, of course, drop that back knee down at any time to modify. Breathing here. Slowly unraveling. Place the fingertips down either side of the foot. Drop the back knee down. Now heel toe that right foot to the outside edge of the mat. Drop the hips. Maybe come down to the hands, to the elbows, to a block. Find lizard. Just shifting the hips side to side here. Feeling into the groin. You can close the eyes as you maybe find a gentle sway. And then heel toe, that left foot between the hands. Shift the hips back. Ardha Hanumanasana. So you can have both hands to blocks to modify. Find the balance here. If you would like to take a forward fold, Take the forward fold, really making this practice your own. If you'd like a little challenge, see if you can float those hands back as you find the forward fold. So it's not just a stretch. Everything is actively working in this variation. Feeling into all of those wobbles. On an inhale, shift it forwards, frame the foot. Step all the way back to your plank position and vinyasa your way through. Meeting back in the downward facing dog. Well done. Left foot steps through between the hands. Drop the back knee down, untuck the toes. Lift the chest, find the lunge first. We can reach the arms up. Switch on those left side glutes and then we drop down into the stretch with everything activated and engaged. Hands come to heart center. Take the twist. So finding that twist here. And then the option to stay here or tuck under the left toes the right toes, sorry, at the back, and then come up into that high lunge and then hook the right elbow over the left knee, finding your revolved side angle, any variation that you wish to play with here. And if you fall out of it, if you wobble, no worries. Always coming back to breath. One more breath wherever you are. And then unraveling, place the hands down, heel toe the left foot back out to the left side, drop the back knee down, find lizard. Close your eyes, either staying up on the hands, coming down to the forearms. That gentle sway side to side. And then heel toe, that foot back to the center line. Shift it back, Ardha Hanumanasana. So find your variation, either supporting yourself on the blocks, either with maybe your fingertips as well, coming into the forward fold. If you wanna work that balance and float the hands back, then of course, giving that a go. Play with the practice. Take what you need, leave the rest behind. One more breath here, and then shift it forwards. Inhale, frame the foot. Exhale, step it back. Find that plank position, and vinyasa your way through. Meeting back in a downward facing dog. Take a releasing breath, letting it go. Beautiful, now step or jump or walk through to seated. And bring those legs out in front of you just for a moment. Ground down through the hands, just finding Dandasana. So just ground down here. And if your hands don't quite reach, that's absolutely fine. Engage Jalandhara Banda. So just drop the chin down slightly. Lift up through the torso. Legs are active. Close your eyes. Just 
connect to breath. Fluttering open the eyes now. We're going to come into half Gomukhasana. So left knee is going to be down, right knee is over the top. If this variation is not there for you, you're going to take double pigeon, maybe. Some people find that harder, including myself. So you could take double pigeon, which would be here, stacking a prop underneath you. Or if not, you can just come to a cross leg position. Also really effective. So right leg is on top or in front. Now we're going to take an upper body tricep stretch here. So you're going to sweep that left arm all the way up and that left hand's going to come down behind the back, right hand to the left elbow. Now be mindful that the ribs are going to want to flare out. Let's try and keep the, the torso neutral here. And if it feels good too, and you have the range, of course you can reach this right arm around and take the clasp with the hands. Only if it's there for you, if it feels good, if it doesn't, even if it's there for you and it doesn't feel good, just because it's available doesn't mean it's the right option. And that's a, that's a battle for the ego, one that we are always working through in our asana practice, right? Noticing what it is that we need in the practice versus what our ego is telling us we should do. Closing the eyes, taking a couple of breaths here. If you'd like to add in a forward fold, but keeping that tricep stretch. And unraveling yourself. Come to find Navasana. So reach the arms out, reach the legs out, and you can modify your Navasana by taking the toes down and holding behind the knees, whichever variation feels good for you. From here, we're just going to float that right arm out to the side, bring it back in front, left arm out to the side, bring it back in front, both arms travel out and bring them back. Hug the knees into the chest this time. Right knee goes down first, left knee comes on top or take whichever variation you are opting for. So ground into your seat first and we're gonna reach that right arm up, right hand comes down behind the back. Left hand comes on top of that elbow and be mindful of the ribs. Of course, if you'd like to reach that left arm around and take the clasp, you may go for it. Wherever you're at, just close the eyes, connect to the breath. And the option to take a forward fold here. And slowly unraveling, bringing yourself back to that Navasana. Let's just take this opening one more time, float the arm to the right, bring it back to center, open it to the left, back to center. As you bro open both arms, open to this celebration, the celebration of the practice, of being able to show up into the practice. And let's open our arms again to that celebration for all of the teachers and everybody that came before us that have allowed us to be here. As you breathe, breathe that in. And then wrap your arms around your legs. Give yourself a big hug. And then you're going to make your way down onto your back. Slowly just rolling down the spine. Bringing it down. And bring the feet to Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together. Allow the knees to drop out. If this isn't feeling good for you right now, then just take a traditional Shavasana. Bring one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly. Just take a final few moments here. Connect to your breath. 
Notice that energy that you have created within your soul today. Take a releasing breath, really drop in. Let it go. Feeling your body heavy on your mat, feeling supported by the practice, by the earth. As always, the option to stay here for as long as you need. If you're ready to move away from the practice, just bringing some movement back into the fingers and the toes. And whenever you're ready, rolling over to one side, just pausing there for a moment. Closing the eyes. And then making your way up to seated, placing one hand on top of the other at the heart center, gaze is inwards, just arriving back in this space that we started, coming full circle, hopefully with a new sense of self. Feeling revived, refreshed, connected, empowered, grateful. Whatever it is that you are feeling in this moment right now, just take a couple of breaths to really, really allow it to wash over you. And we'll seal our practice together with a big releasing breath. Inhale. And let it go. Thank you all so much for sharing that practice with me, for celebrating International Yoga Day with me. Whether or not you are doing this on International Yoga Day, just thank you for celebrating this beautiful practice with me. If you are not already a Soul Sanctuary member, please, please do come and check us out. The link is in the description. It's actually probably on the screen in a minute as well, in a second. Um, come sign up for a free trial. Um, I'm sure that you won't regret it. See you soon. Bye-bye.